Hi friends. Today I'm doing Instant Pot Barbecue Pork Steaks. See you soon. For this recipe you'll need your pork steaks. You will need a cup of broth. I'm using chicken broth, but you could use uh, beef broth or you could use maybe apple juice. I'm using a cup of apple cider vinegar and a cup of barbecue sauce. Just your favorite barbecue sauce. And um, I'm only going to use half of it in when, with the cooking and then I'm going to broil them later with the other half of the barbecue sauce. And you'll also need at least three tablespoons of liquid smoke. You can put your pork steaks on a trivet if you want to, but I'm just going to put mine in the bottom. Um, I have two because I'm just cooking for two people, but you can, you can actually um, use more than that with this recipe. I'm going to pour in my broth, my apple cider vinegar, pardon me, chew one in, <laughs> okay now I've got my hands all washed up I'm going to finish, add liquid smoke, three tablespoons, Now I'm going to add half of my barbecue sauce and I'm going to leave it on the top so make sure that yours is floating on the top um, because you don't want it to get down to the bottom and, and burn. That's just kind of a not a cool situation there. And I'm going to put this lid on here. And for mine, I'm just going to put it on for 15 minutes because I just have two in here. But if you, if you use four to six of them, I would put it on for probably 25, maybe 30 minutes. And then we're going to allow it to natural release afterwards. So for about at least 10 minutes afterwards, just so you kind of have a heads up on the time commitment for this. The timer's gone off on the Instant Pot, and I'm, but I'm waiting for it to natural release. So I'm going to turn this oven on, the broil, and let it start going ahead and heating up in there. I suggest you do the same. This is natural released for 10 minutes and I'm going to go ahead and finish it off and I would suggest if you haven't already done so to line you a pan with tin foil. It makes cleanup so much easier. So guys what I'm going to do is take two sets of tongs because these dudes are falling apart tender. And they still fell apart. Ah. So you might have to be more careful than me. <laughs> to put the rest of my barbecue sauce on here and some people um, like to mix a little bit of the broth in with this you know especially if you have more than what I have here and when I do cook more than this sometimes I do that it does make it really flavorful This step, I guess, you, it really is optional. I mean, the meat is done, and it's going to be really good the way it is. But I just really like to give this that final touch. It just, I like that sticky, 
um, finish, I guess. It just mm, makes it so good. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this. I've got it set for just two, maybe three minutes. It's I've got it set on broil, so it will burn really quickly. And um, you know, some people's broil, um, you, it might take you know even maybe five minutes to get it to where you want it. But I would suggest you guys watch it really closely so that you don't burn them. Okay.